and angel fly within my life beside me and all I do. Hi everyone, this is Anna Grace Taylor with your weekly reading for May 29th through to June 4th. I'm going to be using the Healing with the Angels cards by Doreen Virtue. So let's see what they have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. All right, so here we go. Ooh, beautiful card this Monday and Tuesday. Abundance, receiving abundance, the angels are saying. Receiving blessings, receiving, allowing ourselves to receive, looking at how open you are to receiving. We all can say like, oh, I'd really love more money. I'd really love that opportunity. I'd really love more energy, whatever it is. And then actually be pushing away the very things that we want perhaps because we're not asking for help or not accepting help when we're given it. Maybe we're kind of a bit wishy-washy with what we're saying we actually want. The angels are saying this is a beautiful week to be aware of our relationship to receiving in general, our relationship to how grateful we are for the blessings already in our lives because gratitude is the quickest way to invite more to be grateful for. There is a beautiful energy just around me when I feel this and I can feel my heart expanding and the angels are saying, open your heart, open your arms to receive all blessings, knowing that you are worthy of good. You are worthy simply because you're alive, okay? So it's not a case of like, oh, well, I did this or this person deserves it more than me. No, it's an unlimited universe. The only limits are what we place on ourselves. And so they are really asking you to delve deeper into your relationship with money or just receiving in general. If it helps you, I remember Doreen Virtue saying this, to me or to a class a few years ago. And that is, I deserve to receive because I deserve to give more. I want to give more. And so therefore, in order to do that, I, I allow myself to receive because really we can't give what we don't have. And so we have to allow ourselves to receive in order to be good givers, right? So that really changed my perspective on receiving because I can't be there for someone or I can't support someone if I'm also not taking care of myself, okay? So that's a beautiful card for the beginning of the week. All right, so this is really interesting, spiritual growth. Now, it could be very related here because I know that for many people that I speak to on this path of, of deeper awareness, no one's more uh, spiritual than another person. It's just that some of us perhaps are more aware that we are spiritual beings. And, and money is a big one. Abundance is a big one. Receiving is a big one. We can be like, oh, you know, is it okay for me to have more? You know, perhaps I just want to focus on service. Again, without repeating the message, if you want to be of service, there is no point blocking yourself from good things because actually if you have an abundance of time, of energy, of support, of money, of opportunities, then of course you're going to be more able to give. If that is not your issue, if you are a good receiver and you don't have issue with that, perhaps just looking at the lessons going on in the middle of the week, really trusting that if you're finding yourself in a pattern, if you are having a challenging time, if you are really not understanding why something is happening, the angels are saying, trust, it's all part of your spiritual growth, not that we have to suffer at all to grow, but really looking at, okay, so this isn't working for me, what is this showing me? How can I actually be more of who I am, which is joyful, which is peaceful, which is um, more loving to ourselves and each other, which is abundant, which is which is um, compassionate 
um, really relaxed, all of the natural states that we have as divine beings, how can I bring more of that into my life or rather feel more of that? And if we're feeling the opposite of that, it's where our growth comes in because really all of this human experience is, is really asking us to go deeper within ourselves so that we can use this human experience to really remember who we are, who the truth of us is, despite having this human experience which we can really enjoy, we can really have so much variety from. It's not saying that our human self is is less than the, the, the spiritual self, it's just that the human experience is an experience. Our growth, our spiritual growth comes from a multitude of uh, lessons of experiences of ver varied degrees of feelings and emotions and all of that and when we come here to have this life we come here to grow to learn so just be aware middle of the week what your lessons are right now is it receiving is it being more grateful is it really um, breaking a pattern that you've been in a long time is there something that's challenging because you're making it challenging? Is it time to let go? Is it time to move forward? Just really bear all of that in mind. The angels are obviously asking me to talk to you in lots of questions today because there's just lots of reflecting going on as I'm talking. Just really asking yourself to go deeper this week about what is really happening in your experience and trusting that it is part of being more of you. Okay, oh, this is really interesting. It's definitely telling a story this week because the weekend is self acceptance. Now, to me, there is no greater lesson, there is no thing, there is no uh, feeling that is more connected to our experience of life than self love and our self acceptance because if we truly accepted ourselves as we are, then of course we wouldn't have any problem receiving. We wouldn't have any problem just saying, yes, I'm going to live the life that I really want to live. Because, you know, all of the stuff going on in our lives, all of the stuff, you know, that we see happening with other people is really because we or other people do not love and accept themselves and therefore each other because if we don't if we can't do that for ourselves then we're going to have a problem treating other people uh, kindly as well so this is a big opportunity for us to see our receptivity our growth our learning as a, a whole big part of the same thing of accepting ourselves as a divinely human being, which means we don't have to be perfect humanly because we're already perfect in a divine way. So the angels once said to me that self-love is remembering that we don't have to be perfect as a human being because as a divine being, we already are. So it's remembering that truth, remembering and, and realizing that we don't have to kind of have it all figured out. And that's part of self-acceptance as well. It's not about kind of bypassing all of the human stuff. It's just saying, wow, okay, I'm having this experience today. Oh, wow, this is something that I can really have compassion for, for myself. Yeah, actually, I'm not feeling so great today. So it's not about, oh, I'm just going to go have a massage, although you could. It's not about just taking a break if you want to, although you could. And for some people, it may be that is the most loving thing to do for yourself right now. But it's delving deeper, really looking at the ways that you're living your life and whether it's reflecting a life of self-acceptance and love and compassion and peace or whether it's doing the opposite of that. And something I found really helpful is to just have a couple of my friends be those people that I remember when I'm having that kind of wobbly moment or challenging day. And the angel said, you know, think of that person. Think of that person that you really, really love, that you really would want the best for and and ask yourself would I really treat them that way would I really say that to them would I make that choice for them and usually if we're not being very kind the answer would be no so they are asking us to remember that when we're making our choices this week so that we can more deeply 
love and accept ourselves and therefore then make choices for our highest good. Okay, so sending you all lots of love. I will speak to you again next week with another reading. In the meantime, be kind to yourselves and each other. Much love. Bye-bye.